Sejahtera Malaysia. Taca hao, vanakam kopi vosian apa macam kamu orang? Oh, <laughs> salam sejahtera rakyat Malaysia. Disebabkan Elaine bercakap dalam beberapa bahasa, I pun nak tambahlah sikit dalam another slang yang I tahu. Selamat malam kepada orang yang hok ada malam ni, hok tengah tengok Unity Show lor ni. Selamat malam. Selamat kembali mula ke The Unity Show. Why you gotta teach me your language? <laughs> Look at you. Of oh, well, course. It's called The Unity Show for a reason, right? But uh, tonight's episode is too hot for everyone to handle, I know. Oh, sungguh. Eh, sampai keluar lagi selain kelantak ini. Tak boleh balik lagi. <laughs> so, keep it, keep it going. <laughs> But yes, kita ada Syahril Hamdan, Ketua Penerangan AMNO dan Timbalan Ketua Pemuda AMNO Dan kita juga ada Harry Kok, the famous puppet comedian in Malaysia. I wonder how that's going to be. I think we'll be laughing the whole way. But I really can't wait to speak to both of them. From the very beginning, we have emphasized the importance of uniting every Malaysian, regardless of political ideology, race, or religion. Mm-hmm. Unity is not just a go-to phrase or a campaign slogan. For all of us to achieve unity, we need to listen to one another, not build walls from each other, mm-hmm. right, Aini? Betul. Our mission is to come together as one and to spread hope, never hate, unity, not division. Unity is what makes all of us Malaysians strong, so why do we keep dividing ourselves? Instead, jom, kita uh, hold hands together to keep the faith and spread that faith. Jangan lupa untuk mencari dan follow kami di semua platform social media kami. Also, Elaine, one exciting announcement to all of you, dan juga Elaine dan juga I, because the mm. moment that we have all been waiting for, <laughs> our app will launch next week for both Android and iOS users. So stay tuned for that. The app lets you know what we're about. You can watch past episodes, and it also notifies you firsthand on our upcoming guests. Not to mention, the Unity Show's merchandise will also be available on it and you can watch the show directly on the app. So make sure you tune in next week. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Unity Show. We are excited to have him on tonight. Our special guest currently holds a position as the Information Chief of AMNO and the Vice Chief of Youth Movement of AMNO. Not forgetting a loyal supporter of Newcastle United Fan Club. Please welcome Sharil Hamda. Hey guys. Hello. Selamat datang. Wow, dia punya background very <laughs> yeah. Uh, very semangat perpaduan Malaysia. Exactly, unity, unity show, right? <laughs> love, love that. But uh, salam Sharil. I noticed you haven't been updating your Instagram since last December. Oh, is that is that right? Are you stopping? <laughs> well, we had to do, dig up a little here and It's there. It's called research, Sharil. <laughs> research. I'm just flattering myself. Uh, well, I I want to be quite picky about what I post. Right. Uh, on Instagram, mm-hmm. um, but I update my stories quite often. So okay, uh, so stop me through the stories. Oh, you mean do uh, do our research yeah, from do your research. stories? Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, looking at your post working against uh, dad bod. How's that going for you? <laughs> um, I'll let other people be the judge of that. But um, <laughs> yeah. uh, suffice need- to say that I think uh, I have looked worse in the really? past. Oh. Yes, I have. Okay, well, pretty okay. good for your age. I want to put it a little bit, but I want to put it again. Yeah, but uh, uh, last uh, last September was it? Last September, you climbed Mount Kinabalu. I did. Um, yeah. I I can't confirm it was September, but it was last year. I think I can again uh, research. We did our September research. Yeah, okay. nine, nineteen, yeah, something like that, lah. But let's not go to oh. detail, lah. <laughs> but I, I uh, wanted to. It was great. Ask, it was great. It was great. Good. Yeah. I wanted to ask you: Have you tried scuba diving in Sabah? Since you've I've, I've done uh, Mabu. Oh, oh sweet! I've, 
Baru nak ajak. I only done discovery dive because um, right. uh, I haven't gotten my license yet. And okay, something well. that I've just put off for far too long. But whenever, uh-huh. you know, politics gets less crazy, uh, I do intend to to spend whatever a week that it's going to take, right? To, to get five right. days, actually. Right. Lima hari. Mm-mm. Okay, five days. Um, I'll, you know, plot myself somewhere and <laughs> hopefully get that license. I need to plot yourself somewhere. You just come over and uh, we'll, we'll be there we'll for you. We'll start you out. We'll start you yeah. out. Yeah. Right. Okay, like enough with the <laughs> fancies. But Sharyl, despite the introduction earlier, can you please enlighten our viewers, especially to anak-anak muda, on what you actually do with your roles in UMNO? So um, I currently hold two dual roles at the mm-hmm. national level. Uh, satu sebagai Naib Ketua Pemuda UMNO Malaysia which is number two lah in UMNO Youth mm-hmm. and I also hold uh, the post of uh, Information Chief of UMNO. Uh, so those two roles are uh, very different in, uh, in some respects, in many respects. Uh, on the youth side, obviously, first and foremost, I'm not the head of it so I'm, uh, you know, I'm merely deputizing Dr. Ashraf, who's the head of Amno Youth at the moment, mm-hmm. uh, you know, in terms of what we do, uh, our remit or our mandate, or our KPI really is to uh, get as close as possible to young people in Malaysia uh, for sincere and for political reasons. Those two things, uh, you know, to be transparent, right? You guys are smart enough to know that politicians also have political ambitions. So obviously for Amno, it's uh, it's really about how we can reach out to young people and convince them that we are still uh, the best party for for the future. It's not always easy, uh, as you guys know, uh, but that's uh, that's a challenge, and and I'm deputizing the leader in trying to achieve that. In terms of uh, information head or information chief, um, that's uh, that's really about trying to be one of the one of the talking heads of the party, uh, propose not proposing, uh, putting forward putting forth uh, the policy positions of the party, uh, putting forward uh, what we think is best for the people. Mm. Oftentimes, uh, I'm, I find myself doing perhaps less than I wish I could on that front, but more of uh, explaining internal party dynamics uh, as Ketua Penerangan, which I think uh-huh. is, uh, is also important, but I wish it was less of that and it's more uh, what we can offer to the people. So, that's a bit of my, you know, day to day, with a bit of a hint of some frustration uh, on my part about how politics is going at the moment. But I'm sure I'm not alone in that respect. Uh, Sharyl, bercakap tentang uh, reaching out to anak-anak muda. Macam mana Sharyl cari anak-anak muda ni? Do you, you know, go out to padang ke ataupun dia yang datang ke depan ke macam mana? Um, kita kena pelbagaikan kaedah. Tentunya. Uh, kalau dalam keadaan yang tradisi, maknanya keadaan tidak ada COVID, tidak ada PKP dan sebagainya, uh, tentunya tiap-tiap hari ataupun at least you know, tiap-tiap minggu, keraplah kita nak turun mm. ke Padang, nak bersama dengan anak muda. Mm. Uh, saya ingat kalau uh, soalan Aini tadi, adakah kita tunggu orang datang? Tak boleh lah. <laughs> Ahli politik kita tak boleh tunggu orang datang. Mungkin zaman macam tu dah berakhir kot kita yang kena pergi cari uh, orang muda. Jadi tu dalam keadaan yang konvensional tapi setelah mm. setahun lebih, kita berada dalam uh, era COVID ini, uh, uh-huh. ada cabaran-cabaran tertentu uh, yang memerlukan kaedah yang lebih digital, lebih maya untuk uh, mendapat capaian yang sebenarnya lebih luas pun uh, berbanding dengan uh, komunikasi ataupun uh, pendampingan secara fizikal. Uh-huh. Jadi ini uh, satu era baru dalam politik, dalam masyarakat. Uh-huh. Jadi mungkin disebabkan itu boleh saya uh, sifatkan lah, last uh-huh. one year maybe about 70-80% digital uh, than maybe only oh. 20% face-to-face interaction. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, tapi bagi mereka yang tak tahu juga, Syahril mempunyai sajana muda di dalam economics. Syahril juga datang dari corporate sector and even founded a company in oil and gas. Jadi, apa yang membuatkan Syahril untuk memasuki dunia politik? You know, leaving that comfortable corporate routine. Um, so, just uh, one point of uh, correction, saya tak found the company but I was running it for a bit, uh, the oil and gas services company which is a mid-sized company. Mm-hmm. But to your question, kenapa saya meninggalkan lah uh, ataupun beralih dari dunia mm. uh, professional dan corporate. Mm. Um, kerana minat saya dalam politik ini tak dapat saya elakkan. Uh, saya belajar di luar negara, balik, 
um, dapat peluang untuk bekerja dengan uh, seorang ahli parlimen, ahli parlimen rembau uh-huh. uh, pada waktu itu selama beberapa tahun, dua tahun. Uh, kemudian saya balik untuk sambung belajar uh, master's. Uh-huh. Bila saya balik ke Malaysia, then I entered corporate sector. Tapi saya tak dapat melupakan pendedahan dalam dunia politik selama dua tahun awal. Waktu saya umur uh-huh. 22 tahun sampai 24 tahun. Jadi walaupun in my mid 20s to my yeah in my mid 20s i was really uh, full on private sector uh, tetapi minat tu tak luntur jadi bila peluang tu datang untuk berjinak kembali dalam politik saya pun berjinaklah tanpa meninggalkan dunia korporat dan profesional uh, tetapi semakin lama semakin dalam pula pembabitan saya dalam politik uh, so you know to answer your question why i think minat and passion to do something that i feel is meaningful Uh, untuk, untuk membantu pembangunan negara ini termasuklah dan terutamanya dalam Unity Show ni tentunya perpaduan juga menjadi satu uh, aspek penting dalam pembangunan uh, negara bangsa so that's something very close to my heart uh, genuinely very very close to my heart saya datang daripada keluarga yang mixed race so my my mother is Chinese, my father is Malay so um, growing up pun I understand the the importance to to make sure you know ethnic uh, relations are harmonious not least in my own house, right? In my own home. Yeah. Uh, itu jadi minat tu satu perkara. Nah, tetapi dalam umur saya sekarang 35 tahun, uh, there will come a point uh, di mana saya kena pilih. Saya kena pilih nak jadi full-time politician ke, nak jadi you know full-time corporate private sector ke, apa-apa lah yang di luar politik. Uh, selama ni saya boleh letak kaki dalam kedua-dua dunia uh, tetapi saya rasa perkara tu mungkin tak sustainable. Uh, at some point, I will. Uh, at some point soon, I will have to choose. Um, right. Some But, people, uh, apa tu? Actually, see you as a uh, tokoh corporate muda sebenarnya. Kalau ikutkan, because you know you you're still young, you're still quite young. Jadi apa perasaan Syahril? Apa bila? Uh, apa bila dipandang oleh orang lain? You, you know, menjadi seorang tokoh corporate muda tu. Um, I think that's too kind for anyone to think saya tokoh apa apa, tokoh politik ke? Apatah lagi tokoh corporate dia far hmm. more you know, um, uh, formidable CVs lah uh, mm-hmm. of people around my age yang jauh lebih hebat. Uh, tapi saya uh, cuk- saya cukup berpegang pada uh, pepatah ikut resmi padi lah. Jadi lagi banyak kalau ada orang puji, uh, mm-hmm. kita jangan uh, drink our own cool aid. Mm. Uh, satu, dunia politik dan dunia, dunia sekarang lah. Uh, if you are a public figure, you have to be prepared to be scrutinized, uh, you have to be prepared to be criticized and sometimes attack. Uh, ya, jadi benda tu you you boleh tak popular kejap kemudian you popular anytime you boleh jatuh balik. Mm-hmm. Jadi never get too comfortable. Uh, saya ingat um, itulah pegangan saya. Kalau ada orang um, menganggap saya sebagai uh, somebody that they can you know uh, look up to as an example, I feel very humble dan saya harap um, saya dapatlah membalas kepercayaan ataupun keyakinan sesiapa yang uh, percaya kepada saya. Mm, right. Uh, since you mentioned about YB Rembau um, earlier, how is he doing with uh, the COVID vaccination program? You're going to have to ask him. Uh, but uh, as somebody who's just observing at this point, um, he seems very, very busy with it. Mm-hmm. Um, and in my mind, and people will say I'm biased, uh, but in my mind, it's one of those moments again where uh, he proves whatever you say about him um, mm-hmm. when he, when given a task, whether it is SEA Games, whether it's uh, running TN50, whether yeah. it is vaccination, um, yeah. he usually, well, he hasn't disappointed. Mm. Yeah. He delivers. Yeah, he delivers. He delivers. Right. But uh, Sharil, the political landscape has changed uh, significantly. As information chief, what are the st- strategies you intend to mobilize and how are you different from from the past information chiefs? Um, so I can't go into too much detail obviously yeah. uh, about the specific you know operations. Right, just the surface. <laughs> On the surface level I think uh, I gave um, part of the answer earlier when I said saya tengah cuba hmm. untuk mengalih peranan uh, penerangan hmm. ini kepada penerangan yang berorientasikan rakyat dan bukan hanya penerangan yang berorientasikan ahli amni uh, hmm. because uh, traditionally um, kadang-kadang uh, jawatan penerangan amni ni uh, akan sibuk 
uh, dengan kerja-kerja tugas-tugas menerangkan situasi semasa kepada ahli. Hmm. Uh, apatah lagi sekarang uh, dengan situasi politik yang asyik berubah ataupun yang dinamik dan macam-macam kabar angin uh, yang berlaku. Uh, kadang-kadang kita boleh uh, terikat uh, dengan satu trend ataupun satu keadaan di mana uh, kita sibuk dan selalu sangat uh, memikirkan soal penjelasan kepada akar umi parti. Saya berpegang bahawa tugasan itu penting tetapi yang akan memenangkan juga selain daripada akar umi dan jentera parti, our grassroots, uh, it's also how much um, I can contribute to the uh, you know to the broader uh, appeal of AMNO and that's uh, that's something that I personally rasa saya belum berjaya lagi uh, dan AMNO belum berjaya lagi. Jadi in terms of what I want to do um, in the weeks and months ahead I'd like to be able to focus more on that. Uh, jadi mungkin itulah beza uh, saya dengan uh, approach ataupun pendekatan yang lain sebelum-sebelum. Oh, well said. But speaking of strategies, um how do we achieve stability as many of your party and BN component calls for for election? Well, in the most uh, in the most I suppose clinical mm-hmm. language uh, Stability uh, can be contributed by having a more stable majority uh, in parliament. So mm-hmm. that's uh, obviously something that doesn't exist in the current configuration. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Stability also though doesn't just mean a comfortable majority in the Dewan Rakyat. Stability mm-hmm. also means a confidence in the political system and confidence in the politicians. That are, that are elected not to jump left, right, and so, mm. left and right whenever it suits them. Mm. Yeah, jadi kalau ada majority yang comfortable pun macam mana Pakatan Harapan tempoh hari ada majority yang comfortable tapi mm. uh, ada perpecahan dalaman yang menyebabkan jadi seperti mana sekarang. Mm. Uh, jadi bagi saya, it's two prong lah. One is uh, in election could be an answer if we can come out come out of it with a, with a comfortable majority, mm-hmm. whichever side lah. Mm. Um, but number two, Clearly, our experience of the past year and a bit has shown that uh, it's necessary but not sufficient. What makes it sufficient is the integrity of the coalition, whoever the coalition is that um, governs, Beso, mm. and also the integrity of the politicians within it. And uh, and that's an individual uh, test as well as a collective test of the system. Then, uh, andai kata, um, saya boleh menyumbang ke arah mm. mengubah keadaan di mana orang dah tak percaya uh, sesama mm-hmm. ahli politik ini yeah. ataupun saya semua orang ahli politik kadang-kadang uh, I hope to be able to contribute to that hmm. maknanya nak mem, apa nak instill balik that confidence kepercayaan yes, itu yes. Uh, Syahril It's bercakap difficult. tentang uh, bercakap tentang pilihan raya uh, apa pendirian Syahril tentang undi 18 dan penglibatan belia di dalam politik sebab banyak sangat pendapat yang bercanggah nak implement ke tak implement ke undi 18 ni Uh, saya secara peribadi dari awal-awal lagi sebelum uh, sebelum parti saya on board dengan idea Undi 18 ni uh, saya dah beberapa kali sebut uh, secara terbuka bahawa saya menyokong hmm. dan kenapa saya menyokong sama jugalah hujah-hujah yang diberikan oleh penyokong-penyokong lain Undi 18 ni soal kematangan anak muda tidak boleh dipertikaikan especially if you going to tell them they can get married at that age or younger Uh, especially if you're going to tell them that they are criminally liable at the age yeah. of 18 kalau you mengedar dadah contohnya terus kena gantung yeah. uh, uh, at 18 right so Betul, yeah. so for me dia tak compute lah kalau ada orang kata kematangan tak kematangan uh, mm. tu satu nombor dua dalam keadaan negara dan dunia yang tak tak menentu ini mm. uh, generasi muda akan amat-amat terdedah kepada apa-apa keputusan politik yang dibuat uh, Betul. tidak seperti dulu ya yeah. Di dulu dia, dia is quite, I would argue, in some ways quite linear. Uh, and, and whatever you decide, as long as uh, it made sense and you can get the democratic mandate for it, insyaAllah generasi muda will bear the fruits of Betul. whatever comes out, out, of, out of it. Uh, tetapi sekarang ini, there are few options we can go. Do mm. we want to carry on with this kind of economic system? Do we want to change and overhaul our economic system? Do we want to change certain uh, stuff about how our politics is uh, run? Semua ini, uh, anak muda akan, yalah, dia akan terkesan dengan keputusan hari ini. 
Jadi Betul. kalau mereka akan terkesan for generations uh, and for years of their lives, kenapa mereka tidak diberikan hak untuk Betul. buat keputusan-keputusan tersebut. Jadi bagi saya dari awal saya berpegang pada pada idea dan pegangan bahawa undi 18 ni sesuai, amat-amat sesuai ditambah pula dengan pendaftaran automatik. Uh, jadi kalau sekarang ada sebarang taktik untuk melengahkan dan sebagainya saya tak menyokong. Betul, uh, betul juga apa Syari kata tu sebab sekarang anak muda kita bukan sahaja kita boleh memilih tapi kita dah boleh uh, menggunakan akal fikiran kita untuk kita kita assess a situation, a problem. Kalau dulu yeah. kita harapkan oh tak apalah bukan bukan masalah kita tu masalah mak bapak kita kawan-kawan ni you know masa hmm. tu generation zaman dulu kita we leave it to our parents. Tapi sekarang yeah. we're at this age at this stage yang kita dah boleh pakai akal fikiran kita, kita boleh decide apa yang kita nak, kita boleh tengok apa salah, apa betul. Yeah. Betul. Tak boleh dipetikaikan perkara itu uh, dan tak boleh ambil satu dua contoh di mana anak muda 18 tahun mungkin satu dua contoh yang mana mereka tidak matang betul. ataupun mereka masih uh, dilihat tidak cukup ilmu. Itu Contoh itu akan wujud apa-apa umur pun ada contoh. Ada. Juga. Umur 21 betul. tahun pun ada yang tak matang. Umur 30 betul. tahun pun masih ada yang tak matang. Kalau nak 20 umur, tahun pun ada yang tak matang. Betul. Saya tak nak sebutlah. Tapi <laughs> anda <dah> sebut. <laughs> Uh, tapi Syahril, dengan pergolakan politik yang berlaku sekarang, apa harapan dan aspirasi Syahril untuk sistem politik Malaysia? Uh, aspirasi saya untuk kita kembali ataupun uh, kembali kepada landasan uh, yang mana politik kita boleh kita aspirasikan menjadi satu arena pertembungan idea dan pertembungan dasar. Uh, pergaduhan antara ahli politik dan parti politik ini akan setiasa ada. Cuma saya mengharapkan biarlah gaduh itu, gaduh disebabkan tak setuju dasar A, nak dasar B, tak setuju sistem ni, kita nak ubah ke sistem lain. Perbahasan dan perdebatan dan perbezaan pandangan macam itu, kalaupun dia emosional, kalaupun dia menyebabkan orang passionate one way or another, bagi saya disagreement macam tu, perbahasan macam tu lebih produktif daripada sekarang di mana sistem politiknya dilihat lebih kepada personality dan lebih kepada kuasa semata-mata. Betul. Jadi saya ingat kita semua ada tanggungjawab dan tidak boleh kita kata hanya parti ni yang uh, elok parti tu. I think at this point kita boleh katakan the whole political system memerlukan regeneration uh, daripada dari segi wakilnya, dari segi you know, jurucakap, dari segi Uh, muka-muka lah yang mewakili parti ni. Bukanlah kita nak take over semua but I think kalau generasi muda ni segenap uh, spektrum parti-parti politik di Malaysia ni lebih ke depan uh, uh-huh. insyaAllah kita boleh capai lah aspirasi saya sebut tadi biarlah kita disagree dan bergaduh ni hal dasar negara dan bukan hal-hal oh. personality dan lain. Betul bukan hanya untuk uh, kepentingan diri atau Betul. untuk kuasa. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's the dream. Uh, Cheryl, you come from a multiracial family like mentioned earlier and completed a master's degree in race, ethnicity, uh, and post-colonial. Uh, how does that feel like considering you're in a Malay dominant party? Um, it feels, um, at times, it feels, I don't think of it. Right. At other times, uh, when my party veers uh, far further to the right than I would uh, like, it can feel a bit awkward. Um, right. Bukan semata-mata I'm mixed race uh, oh. per se, mm-hmm. but because of my own beliefs that uh, Malaysia can only work kalau uh, kaum-kaumnya uh, harmoni, mm. kalau kita tidak merendah-rendahkan sesama sendiri, kalau kita hormat menghormati bahawa ada perbezaan dari segi sejarah ke, dari segi uh, emotional attachment, um, dari, uh, kepribumian dan sebagainya. All those kind of more sensitive stuff. Kalau kita boleh hormat sesama sendiri tetapi uh, tetap menggubal dasar-dasar yang relevan dengan abad ke-21, yang relevan dengan masa depan yang kita mahukan, hmm. yang tidak mengikat hanya sekata, sekadar semata-mata simbolisme hmm. uh, dan tidak juga menaikkan sentimen kaum uh, yang hanya akan merugikan semua. Yep. Dan saya rasa benda ni tidak menjadi satu kekangan untuk kita maju. Jadi hmm. bila kadang-kala my own party sometimes bias to the areas that I just you know hinted yeah. uh, yang saya rasa tak produktif for the country then hmm. it does feel a bit awkward. Um, tapi saya kata macam saya sebut tadi lah, this is a problem with the entire political system. I don't think just my own party. Some people 
might feel no is amnu is the problem amnu is the problem yeah. and every you know if other parties take over tak jadi masalah but you only have to without being being too partisan you only have to see what happened in the 22 months uh, to say that whatever you say of amnu and pas in that case when we were in opposition mm-hmm. uh, the government at that time bears some responsibility for how uh, for how things have turned out in terms of racial sensitivities and all the rest of it jadi saya nampak Um, yeah, if I speak for my own party, there are times I, it does feel a bit awkward, um, and I'm hoping you know I can contribute to bawa balik amno ni kepada satu negara uh, parti kebangsaan uh, yang yang tidak um, memainkan ataupun tidak uh, menyebabkan kaum kaum lain merasa tidak selesa dengan parti ini dan tidak tidak selesa dengan kepimpinan amno mm-hmm. dan layu because that's the only way that amno can come back. Uh, as a as a party that every community can respect, not just Betul. every community fears, but Betul. every community can respect. Betul, uh, Sharil bercakap tentang kau kau. Since we're on the unity show, berbalik kepada unity perpaduan. Apa pendapat Sharil tentang semangat perpaduan di Malaysia sekarang, and how can we unite better as one nation? Uh, semangat perpaduan di Malaysia sekarang bagi saya tidak berada dalam keadaan yang sama baik seperti mana waktu saya kecil. Uh, mm. When I was younger, I think, um, I don't think I'm romanticizing it. I do think it was it was better, uh, you know, 10, 15 years ago. Mm. Uh, even, you know, even I would say less than 10 years ago, kita bercakap tentang One Malaysia. Uh, walaupun mungkin ada yang akan kata hanya sloganeering dan sebagainya, tetapi ada juga pengisian-pengisian yang dibahaskan. So I thought that at that time, even at that time, it was uh, it was better than it is now. Apatah lagi sebelum sebelum itu. Uh, jadi bagi saya keadaan perpaduan sekarang ini uh, dikekang dengan prejudis uh, antara kaum yang agak tebal uh, dan juga uh, betapa cepatnya kita racialize ataupun meletakkan uh, sentimen dan tafsiran kaum. Dalam apa-apa isu, baik isu kadang-kadang isu pekerjaan, kadang-kadang mm-hmm. isu pergaduhan uh, pun, orang bergaduh tepi jalan pun, tepi yeah. jalan trafik dan semua ah. pun <laughs> dah ada prejudis kau kau betul. Yeah. Uh, jadi saya rasa uh, walaupun saya tak nampak lah any empirical or scientific research, tapi mm-hmm. dari, anecdotally dan apa yang kita alami uh, dan kita lihat dari segi komen-komen di media sosial dan sebagainya. Mm. Uh, bukan berada dalam keadaan yang kita boleh banggakan. Mm. Jadi apa yang perlu kita buat? Apa yang, bagi saya apa yang kita perlu buat adalah kembali melihat kepada uh, dua bentuk lah. Satu melihat kepada sejarah kita dan juga melihat ke depan. Mm-mm. Melihat kepada sejarah kita, Malaysia sebenarnya mempunyai sejarah uh, di mana keharmonian itu dan kemajemukan itu menjadi satu aset. Sekarang ni seolah-olah bukan aset lagi. Seolah-olah benda tu jadi tegang all the time. Oh. Jadi nak kembali kepada melihat dah, dalam sejarah kita bila mana kita mampu mengurus kemajemukan itu dengan lebih, lebih baik dan juga pandang ke hadapan uh, menyedari bahawa negara-negara lain di rantau ASEAN ini uh, sudah banyak yang memintas kita dan kalau kita bergaduh sesama sendiri if we cannot love each other yet at this point at least re- recognize the fact that we have to stop fighting and to stop you know uh, being too prejudicial uh, about one another sebab kalau tak other countries are just going to continue overtaking it jadi mungkin di situ boleh ada satu kesatuan dan uh, 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 unity in uh, understanding the risk that are involved uh, from outside. Jadi uh, mungkinlah dari segi short term tactics uh, adalah untuk kita menyedari dan juga mengingatkan rakyat Malaysia tanpa kira agama dan kaum. Kalau hmm. kita tak boleh bersatu, orang lain akan pintas kita dan lastlah kita semua rugi. Betul. Betul, saya setuju. Terima kasih untuk explanation tu. <laughs> well, uh, um, Sharil, from mm-hmm. oil and gas company to the center and now as Amno's information chief, what's next? Any uh, aspiration to become prime minister? No, I mean. <laughs> What um, do you mean, no? <laughs> no, honestly, I mean it's something that it's like saying, do you wish to be a billionaire? I mean, if it happens, it happens, but it cannot be something that you think about. That's, okay, uh, that's oh. really uh-huh. generally. Actually, that's uh, because, correct. Because uh. yeah, because you know, in the end, how many people get to be billionaires and how many people get to be prime ministers? Not many. Yeah. And if that, if you put that to be your, you know, to be your goal, mm-hmm. especially in politics, kalau nak jadi billionaire ni satu hal, at least you just work towards it and hopefully yeah. you don't you don't hurt people along the way. Yeah. Tapi kalau you 
you are so hung up about one particular position mm-hmm. in politics uh, you really run the risk of going against your principles mm-hmm. uh, of um, you know doing wrong things lah uh, yeah. because at some point uh, uh, there will be a politically expedient thing to do uh, mm-hmm. which maybe isn't the right thing to do dan dan perkara ni akan kita hadapi sebagai ahli politik all the time. Uh, sometimes I fall on the wrong side of the equation. I hope most of the time I fall on the right side. Tapi mm-hmm. kalau saya terlalu obses dengan satu aspirasi jawatan, uh, most of the time I'm sure I will start taking the politically expedient thing to do and before I realize it, I would have lost myself. Jadi saya tak mau yeah. fikir yeah. soal jawatan tertentu lah. Kalau ada ada, kalau tak ada it's okay I carry on my life. Okay. Betul. Yeah. Uh, apa tu uh, Elaine if I may sebab apa tu we I mean the 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 question that Elaine asked sebenarnya macam we can't help but to think sebab okay macam for me personally I always assume dengan whatever is going on in Malaysia right now in politics mm-hmm. uh, I always assume semua yang masuk politik ni dia ada dia memang they 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 want to become the prime minister macam at the back of their mind I want to become the prime minister I mean, mm sebab mungkin dengan keadaan yang tengah berlaku sekarang kok macam oh macam senang je sebenarnya jadi prime minister kat Malaysia ni ya yeah? <laughs> I think uh, you uh, maybe your perception ni colored by certain generation of the past who are still in our Malaysian political scene yang nampak hmm. ada beberapa individu memang itu je yang dia nak uh, tanpa yeah, saya menangkan yeah. sesiap tapi oh, saya rasa yeah. di kalangan generasi muda hopefully lah as of now kami semua tak fikir perkara tu uh, hmm. because because you just want uh, Ya, yeah, you just want to do well. Dan yeah. kita lihat juga di negara-negara lain. Di mana politik ni is a career but it's not everything. Mm. Uh, contoh uh, di, di UK you mentioned uh, the, where I went to study. Uh, di situ, people come and go. You know, uh, people come from the corporate sector. Nobody makes a fuss about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, you do your you do your best. Kalau you go up the ladder, you go up the ladder. If not, you get out and you carry on with your life. And mm. you know, you go back to the private sector or you form a think tank or you write a book, uh, mm-hmm. tak, tak ada drama. Tapi mm-hmm. hanya di Malaysia saja yang orang anggap kalau masuk politik ni tak boleh keluar. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sampai betul. bila-bila pun you kena sampai yeah. lah habis. So nah. saya tak nak macam tu. That's a phrase juga in NASA, Syaril. Uh, yeah. Apa tu, because we had uh, apa tu, uh, someone from NASA who works, a Malaysian who works in NASA, dia kata, okay. siapa yang yeah, bekerja right. di NASA, dia takkan, takkan, it's like a known fact, you never leave NASA. Yeah. Right, right. Like Hotel California. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. um, but Syahri, malangnya kita tidak punya masa untuk berbincang, bercerita lagi tentang isu-isu semasa Terima kasih kerana sudi meluangkan masa untuk hadir pada malam ini Hopefully we get to see more of you on our show yeah. Sure, Thank anytime Thank you so much for Terima kasih. on tonight Thank you Syahri Thank you, selamat Thank malam you. Selamat malam
Selamat kembali ke segmen kedua of the Unity Show. Pada malam ini, kita ada special talent yang sangat, sangat, sangat berbeza dari talent-talent kita sebelum ini. Dikenali sebagai seorang ataupun boneka yang vocal di, di platform social media tapi dengan cara yang menghiburkan. Berasal dari Batu Gajah tapi kini menetap di Ceras. Sila beri tepukan kepada Half Puppet dan Half Human Harry Kong. Hai. Did I, did I, Harry, betul kan punya introduction tu? <laughs> betul, betul. Thank you. Hello, Ivy. Hello, Elaine. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Well, I believe uh, I'm the first puppet to ever be inside the show. Huh? Uh, not bad. Uh, if, if not the first puppet, at least the first person with the, the hand at the buntut, right? Huh? Yeah. Uh. Harry, bukan setakat first puppet, tapi mungkin the only puppet on uh, our show. Ah, uh, exactly. Hopefully, no more puppies after this. Ah, uh, you ban them from coming. You you talk to me. Once you lose, ah, uh, once you pop the cherry for puppy, you must stick with one puppy only, ah. Uh. Okay. Ons. Ah, uh, talking to you, I mean, I know you like a lot of puppies. I can tell, ah. Uh. Ah, uh, yo. Okay, Harry. I do rosak. Belum apa pun dah rosak. Make up, I. I'm crying already. <laughs> Harry, okay. Sila cerita, sila berkongsi sedikit tentang asal-usul Harry Cockney. Siapa atau apakah Harry Cockney? Uh, well, firstly, uh, I'm the Malaysian. Uh, I think you already told, you already introduced me. I'm from Batu Kaja. Uh, <laughs> I, I got my mother's name is Mrs. Rose Kong Kek Kwat. Uh, she lives uh, with me in, in Chiras here in Taman Konek. Uh, K- uh, Um, I also got my brother. My brother's name is uh, Holy Fat. He lives in Singapore. Um, I don't like. Uh, actually, some people think I don't like Singapore. I actually love Singapore, but I don't like my brother. So he's half Singaporean. And uh, you actually made one mistake. I uh, just now, Amy. You said I'm half human, half puppet. I'm actually 100% percent puppet, lah. Huh? Sure. Sure. Yeah. No, we can see the armor. Someone's armor. I can see something <laughs> uh, other than other than the puppet. I can see something else. Oh, the armor. <laughs> oh, that one is not the arm lah. That's my third leg lah. My third leg. I got two. I got three legs ah. Uh. Two legs, normal size. One more leg. You you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> uh. Okay. Macam mana idea di sebalik Harry Kau ini boleh muncul? Uh, my idea, idea yeah. is actually me represent all the Malaysian. Uh, we all love to complain. We all love to talk cock. Uh, I am the metaphor. Well, I'm not bad my English. Uh. I'm the metaphor <laughs> for all Malaysians. I love to complain. I love to talk cock. I love to sing song. Uh, that is what I am. I am the voice for all the Malaysians. That's why I say I'm the Malaysian. I'm sorry. This is. I don't know how we're going to proceed with this. I'm just laughing all the way. Good luck, je. I have to say, ah, uh, it's it's also quite nerve wracking for me being here. You know, you girls are uh, damn good looking. Ah, uh, I did realize if I had known, ah, uh, I was being interviewed by such good looking girl, I definitely would also wore makeup. Also, you know, I'm like missing a bit of eyeliner. Can you see the eye bags? Ah, uh? got a little bit eye bag. <laughs> oh I didn't see it last night. That's why. <laughs> What do you do? Eh, hey, Harry buat apa tak tidur semalam? Kita tengah MCO sekarang kan? Uh, I cannot say on the, on, the, on the show lah. If I tell you what I did last night, ah, I do the same thing I do every night ah, before I go to sleep. And then when I wake up also, and then before this, I think okay. after this interview, I also also do that thing that I did last night. Are you sorry lah? I'm, I'm saying so many inappropriate things lah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Cannot, cannot, cannot. Okay. Oh. Harry Cock. Is Harry Cock a real name? <laughs> Yeah, actually, my full name is Harry Cox. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm a. Uh, And the full name I need. <laughs> I'm uh, working very hard, ah, uh, working very hard to one day become a dato. Oh, okay. okay. Hoping you can refer one day, ah, uh, dato Harry Cox. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Inshallah, dato. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dato, you yeah, suka dia nak dato. What? Kenapa dato? Kenapa tak tansri terus? Oh, because one step at a time, right? I mean, uh, you, you cannot go straight to tone. You cannot go straight to tansri. Go dato first, you know? Huh? Dato, then... Small yeah. steps, small steps. Small steps, except me. Huh? Not, not, not so small downstairs, but... Um, <laughs> so, uh, but I take small steps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool, I cool, really cool. don't know how we're going to proceed with this interview. <laughs> Crying. But Harry, uh, how did you get uh, YB Said Sadik to do a video with you? Do you think he's a good actor? 
Oh, Sai Sadek, not only is he a good actor, ah, oh, that guy is damn handsome, you know. Hey, Lane, you're from Sabah, right? Yes. Yeah, he's like, he's as handsome as the sunset at Sunset Bar in, in KK, you know. Wow. Hey, you been to Sunset Bar in KK? Ah? Of course I have. Uh, that place, uh, that place is like Sai Sadek's face. It's like heaven, you know. Yeah, that guy, yeah. Ah, his so age, yeah, I don't know how old, 20, what, 20 something, my right? My age, my age, 29 this year. 29, yeah, his, wow. age, yeah, his age match his body muscle percentage, you know. Very who nice tone, very who muscle. Is better? Who huh? is better, Harry Kok or Said Sadiq? What, what, uh, on his feet or off his feet? No lie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> joking, joking. Hey, of course, Said Sadiq, like, that guy is damn smart, damn handsome, uh, only when he cut his hair, become bota, then I overtake him in handsomeness. But until then, he was the, the, the leading guy. Yeah. One in handsomeness. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. With, yeah. with all his TikTok videos, do you think he's a good actor? Hey, not bad, la. not bad. You not know? bad. La. Give he, him credit. La. Give him credit. He came to uh, my house. Uh, we did the video. Uh, your uh, house or your office? Or? Oh, yeah. Sorry, my office. Actually, my, <laughs> my house is my office. I, uh, they put me inside the cupboard there uh, overnight. Uh, I sit there. So I always think my house is my office. Yeah, yeah, he come to my office, ah. So we do video, we do video one hour like that. Ah, uh, yeah. uh, and then uh, he, 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 uh, but damn sporting, lah. Damn sporting. Uh, what, he don't mind doing anything. Don't mind doing anything. And then uh, he left. We took picture, talk, talk a bit. And then uh, hopefully, uh, I will see him again soon, lah. Okay. Wow, do anything, ah, uh, Harry. Yeah. What do you mean Harry by do, do anything, ah? Yeah. Uh? Do anything, ah. Uh, you what what uh, I mean do anything with him like I hopefully later huh, we do more video we do uh maybe another interview actually I wanted to interview him but he said no let's do video instead so that's why we we actually decided to do the skit uh, the skit uh acting so I was worried also I said like, hey can this can this guy act uh? but not bad right then soon so yeah he came and did the video act and then uh yeah la 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 okay. Harry juga dikenali sebagai seorang yang vocal, you know, seorang yang talk cop tentang isu-isu semasa. Have you gotten into trouble for voicing out or acting out on these issues? Uh, no lah. You know why? It's because I'm Bape. They got no law in Malaysia against Bape, you know. That's why. <laughs> this is uh, true. This uh, is true. If anyone get offended by Bape, uh, confirm the joke in them, on them already. Get offended by Bape. Actually, the... <laughs> The person uh, that can kena, you know, is this guy here, the guy, the guy holding me now. Uh, this guy. That's oh, why, yeah. huh? Who's guy... that guy? Who's that guy? Can we see him? Boleh nampak? Boleh tengok tak dia kejap? Come lah. Show yourself. You don't want, ah? Uh? Don't want. Hey, he's shy, lah. <laughs> I, I call him, ah, uh, Mr. Bunto. Mr. Bunto is, <laughs> he's damn shy. Why you don't want to show? Show yourself, lah. Idiot. Why are you shouting at him, lah? Yeah, okay. Don't shout at him. Sorry, lah, but he's a damn shy, lah, idiot. I ask, show yourself, lah. Uh, you are still damn shy lah. <laughs> okay, Harry juga adalah peminat Tigar, Tony Fernandez. Mm. Tony juga dah follow Harry di Instagram. Jadi, benda paling penting yang me and Ilya nak tahu adalah, why are you so obsessed with Tony? Uh, yo, I thought it was obvious lah. It's because I want to get that ship lah. <laughs> That's how Malaysia works lah. It's sometimes, <laughs> right? it's not what you know, it's who you know, right? Huh? Yeah. I can tell people, hey, I'm friends with... Uh, Sai Sadiq, I'm friends with Tantri Tony Fernandez. Confirm and get one step closer to becoming Dato, right? Huh? <laughs> First, okay. I mean, that guy is damn smart. He can drive aeroplane. He can do TikTok. You know, very good person to have inside my contact list. Lah. <laughs> okay, well, you know what? We're going to set you up with uh, Tantri Tony. How about that? Yeah, can, can. Again. Uh. Uh, again? <laughs> I mean, I can. Lah. I mean... <laughs> Wah, dia boleh question kita balik tau. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. It's your interview. You should ask her. Hey, but let yeah. me tell you. Uh, last time I spoke to Tanshu, you know what he told me? Uh? Wait, what, what did he say? He said to me, I, bro, I cannot help you become Dato, but what I can do is make you Dato of Air Asia. It's official, you know. So actually, as of right now, uh, I'm a Dato of Air Asia, you know. Oh, yo. Wow. Uh, Lepas ni, I pun boleh tumpang sekaki untuk, untuk dapat diskaun nak naik Air Asia bersama Dato Harry Kok. Okay, that one I cannot do lah. <laughs> My Dato ship got no power. Only the title only got no power. Uh, what? Yeah, so so sorry. I, I, cannot give this, I cannot even give discount to myself lah. Never mind you lah. <laughs> you know. Okay, Harry. Apa pendapat jujur Harry tentang isu politik yang sedang berlaku sekarang? Tentang darurat? 
Ayo, you trying to get me in trouble, ah? Huh? Talking politics, ah? Oh, no lah. Eh, kata, kata Harry kan kebal. Ayo, eh, I tell you, ah, uh, actually got many issues in Malaysia at the moment, right? But the last issue I saw, ah, uh, is uh, the one, uh, Sugar Daddy. You, have you seen the Sugar Daddy yeah. website, ah? Yeah. Have you seen uh, all the Sugar yeah. Daddies using the website, ah? They yeah. all look like me, you know? <laughs> hey, huh? Yeah. Why? Uh, why actually? Uh, I don't know why. That, so I don't know why uh, the Malaysia have problem with Sugar Daddy website. Leave it lah. Let let be, let the Sugar Daddy like myself go on. You know, talk a bit. You know. Yeah. Uh, sorry. Uh, this answer not very funny lah. Uh, sorry. 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 <laughs> you know what to do we Malaysians I think you know ada sesetengah perempuan wanita di Malaysia suka lah Sugar Daddy yang berumur umur nak buat uh. macam mana. That's why, that's why, that's why. Uh, hey, I, I don't want to talk too serious, ah. Huh? But, but if you ask me my honest opinion, ah, huh? how come we can not have a sugar daddy website, ah? Huh? But then we can have underage marriage, ah? Uh, why, ah? Huh? This is true. Doesn't yeah. make sense, right? Yeah, Ayo. Hey, why is the puppet talking about politics, ah? Huh? Suddenly on on the show, I don't know why. Why is speaking anyone? Of, speaking of politics, Harry, what do you think of our politicians? What What do you think they're doing behind closed doors now? Uh, to be honest, Eileen, I, I actually don't want anyone to know what I'm doing behind closed doors. You know? <laughs> so why would I want to know what they're doing behind closed doors? You know, I let them be lah. They want to, uh, they want to do are. whatever they want behind closed doors. Can lah, just. You but, are. Uh, but we as Malaysians are we hey, hey, correct or not? Got, correct or not? We love to complain, right? So my advice uh, is is keep complaining lah. Not happy with anything in Malaysia, complain lah. We all we all have platform to complain, right? Become creators. That's why. I, I like to do complain lah. People think, wow, Harry, you're very good at making video, making content. No lah, I just complain. Complain only. <laughs> <laughs> like, could you could you help us since you're good uh, at complaining? Could you help us irritate YBKJ because we're trying to get him on our show? Can you help us out? Just like KJ, uh, wow, you think I have that much power to get Maybe KJ? Maybe you you got YB side said it. You got to answer. Yeah. Uh, Tony Fernandez. Okay, okay. I, I I don't have his contact, uh, but I can you give try you some advice. Uh, I can give you some advice. I know where to find KJ lah. Uh. You want to you want to find KJ, right? Yeah. Uh. Quite easy. You 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 just after the show, ah, uh, you go out on the road and you look for the potholes, ah. Uh. You look for the potholes. <laughs> confirm you can find KJ around there. He will be there. Fair yeah. enough. Huh? Harry, you know, I kita panggil for Aini lah, for Aini. kita panggil YBKJ hashtag Daddy KJ. Wow. <laughs> he is the true OG Sugar Daddy, right? Yeah. Huh? Yes. <laughs> he had a cup on Sugar right. Daddy. Wow. Even I would sign up for that one lah. No. <laughs> uh, oh, so, I have to share, so now I have to share uh, Daddy KJ dengan Harry Kong. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Hey girl, hey, what, uh, you don't mind ask you a question. Who you think is more handsome? Huh? KJ or Syed Zadik actually? Oh. Alamak. Okay, oh, okay, oh, okay, no, you know. okay lah. KJ is like daddy KJ. Sadik ah. is like baby baby Sadik. Ah, hey, so Amy, so I'm asking, which one you prefer, daddy or baby? Daddy lah. Oh, <laughs> ah. Not bad lah, Amy. Oh, okay, okay, okay. The whole nation will be watching. I mean, yeah, yeah. watching. Exactly, the whole nation heard Amy just say she prefer daddy than baby. Not bad, not bad, not bad. <laughs> She must have been one, uh, one of the many girls on that Sugar Daddy website, huh? Uh, <laughs> but Harry, um, we don't have enough time, but uh, we have a special, eh, sorry, uh, we have a special um, person here on our team who admires you, who is a huge fan of you. Could you give a shout out to Awi for us? Awi, ah. Uh. Yes, Awe. 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 Is Awe listening right now? Is it or watching yeah. right now? He yeah. is, he is. He hey, is. Hey, tell me something about Awing. He's hardworking, he's 18 years old, and he he was the one who suggested uh, having you on the show. And we got oh. you on the show. Yeah. Hey Awing, thank you, bro, for suggesting me. Huh? Uh sorry, huh, but uh I'm giving more attention to Amy and Elaine than I'm giving to you. You are the real champion behind the scene. But because of you, actually, I should be thanking you because I'm sure after this, me, Elaine, I, I mean, are going to have our own sugar daddy uh, relationship after this. Confirm. Confirm. So, if, anything, huh? if anything, I should be thanking you, lah, Awing. Not bad, lah. Not bad, Awing. Suka hati, lah, you. Anyway. Okay, okay, Harry. <laughs> Harry, sebelum, sebelum kita pergi, sekiranya Harry Kotter challenge untuk menjadi Perdana Menteri Malaysia di dalam pilihan raya seterusnya, 
apa top 3 manifesto yang Harry Kong akan perjuangkan? Ah uh, easy easy ah uh, three advice is it three advice for young yeah. young people ah uh, I would say ah uh, ah uh, uh, talk talk ah uh, be honest be nice to your mother and then last one hey, don't drink already. and don't drink and drive and beware of dog be dog only one dog yeah beware of dog. <laughs> okay, jadi jadi kita akan assume top 3 advice itu adalah top 3 manifesto yang Harry Kong akan perjuangkan penonton-penonton sekalian. Yeah, okay, Harry, Harry last question. I I missed this one. Oh dear. Oh, I'm trying to contain myself. But we don't have enough comedians in Malaysia. The market is so small. So what would you say to 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 the youth out there who has the same potential as you but they they don't know where to start? Like how to be how to Yeah. How, yeah. How do we become um, Daddy Harry? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a good thing lah. Becoming comedy or doing content in Malaysia. What? There's no rules, right? Anyone can do. You got camera, you can become creator. You got phone, can become creator. You can talk cock, you can become creator. You're not handsome like me, can become creator. And then after that, next thing okay. you know, you'll be on the Unity show being interviewed by two very, 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 very good looking girls. Uh, that's my advice. <laughs> just start. Just, don't talk cock, just start. Don't think the start. Oh my gosh, Harry, unfortunately we are running out of time. Thank you for coming on the show. We we obviously I mean look at Aini and I are make us a hunter. We're crying already. That's yeah, that, 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 really that. enjoy talking to you. We need to feature you more uh, on our uh, future episodes. Keep doing what you do. Keep voicing out. Keep talking keep, cock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, keep doing you, Harry. Hey, uh, very important. I, I mean, uh, you got you 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 guys follow me on Instagram or not? Yes. Hey, don't lie, lie. <laughs> hey, I see you. Uh. I mean, didn't follow me, right? Uh, you're lying to me. What? Be like this, uh, but I can see inside your eye lying. Okay, okay, okay. I follow you now. Sure you follow, I, okay. huh? I will. Harry, I, Harry, I follow. I need. We need to follow him now, live. Okay, we're live now. So we I'm gonna call him after. Hello, dear. Follow I do lula. Yeah, yeah. Can, no problem. Now I slide into your DMs, eh? No yeah, slide in my DMs. Okay, I hey. followed you. Yeah, It's live. Okay, I followed you. No, he has to find me on Instagram first if he <laughs> if he can. Don't worry, I mean I will find you. I looking right now. I will find you. No problem at all, huh? <laughs> Don't you worry, yeah. Harry <laughs> finds everyone. No problem. <laughs> Thank you so much, Harry. Terima kasih kerana meluangkan masa. Jumpa lagi. Jumpa lagi. I want to say a message. Shout out to Unity. Thank you, Aini. Oh. Thank you, Aileen. And thank you for letting me pop your cherry. What a pleasure. I will see you very soon. And remember, I'm the Malaysian. Bye, guys. Thank you for tuning in tonight. It was definitely some informative chat with Sharil Hamdan and too too much laughing session with Harry Laini. <laughs> Betul, terlalu terlalu banyak gelak tawa malam ni, Elin. Yeah. Tapi sedikit ulasan dari segmen-segmen kita pada malam ini. Untuk segmen pertama kita ada Ketua Penerangan AMNO dan Naib Ketua Pemuda AMNO Sharil Hamdan. Syahril menyentuh tentang beberapa isu semasa seperti Undi 18 di mana Syahril menyuarakan pendapat bagaimana kita tidak boleh menganggap semua anak muda tidak matang atau tidak cukup ilmu untuk membuat keputusan. Jadi janganlah kita kerana nila setitik rosak susu sebelanga. Syahril juga mengingatkan kita untuk meletakkan perbezaan yang kita ada sentiasa saling menghormati dan tidak menaikkan sentimen kaum di dalam setiap benda yang kita lakukan. To quote him, recognize the fact that we have to stop fighting. Kita perlu ikhlas dan setiasa menerima pendapat yang bercanggah, tidak mengira bangsa, agama atau ideologi politik. Hmm. Mungkin kan, Ilin, kita patut panggil ahli politik dari kedua-dua belah untuk mereka berbahas tentang isu-isu semasa atau polisi-polisi yang memberi manfaat kepada rakyat We yeah we should definitely do that, but maybe not so soon. I mean, uh, two weeks ahead maybe lah. Huh? <laughs> Bagi mereka untuk ni lah untuk uh, prepare themselves. Yeah, prepare themselves, you know. <laughs> <laughs> untuk segmen kedua pula, segmen favorite Ilin kita ada Harry Kong di mana ianya segmen yang penuh dengan gelak ketawa je 
Jadi sila ke YouTube channel kami untuk melihat semula episod malam ini. That's right. I was crying non-stop during Harry's segment, but anyway, in all seriousness, see, I'm crying again even thinking about it. Stay tuned for our app next week, available for both Apple and Android users. It's gonna be so much easier for all of you, our loyal fans, our viewers, to check on our upcoming merchandise and so much more. The show is called Unity for a Reason. A platform to gather politicians from both sides of the aisle. Mm-hmm. How do we unite if we don't try to understand and work on our differences? Maybe Daddy Harry would know. Selamat malam, see you guys next week.